Hi, I'm Jonathan Wright from the Kawasaki Racing Team. We were very competitive in Jerez compared to other seasons. I felt strong to, to race to the end in race one with uh, the Ducatis and Yamahas, which in the past was impossible. Then, um, you know, race two to win Super Bowl, but race three, I feel like we got a, you know, a big curveball. We did exactly the same with the bike, the tire, but I had zero grip from the beginning. So I tried to push this uh, result under the, under the covers and forget about it. And with a, you know, Reset to zero for Portimao. We can, um, you know, try to focus on some race wins this weekend. You can never be too confident, but I have more confidence this weekend coming here than I did going to Jerez, for example. Of course, my rivals are super strong this season. Uh, it never gets easier. And um, I mean, you ask me to name who I see is the strongest. They're all strong. You know, I just want to focus on myself. Already, Alex has been really strong in Phillip Island with the most points. Uh, Scott did a very good job in Jerez. But I see this season with many chapters, you know, many guys can be strong in each circuit, but it's more important to be consistent through the year. So that's my plan and um, let's see how it works out. The key to the 2020 season will be to not crash in race one of Phillip Island. What a disaster. But um, no, the key is to be passed everywhere. We suffered in Jerez because my bad weekend was a sixth place in the end, but the key is the bad weekend should still be on the podium and um, we should, um, we should try to keep that regularity a bit better. Having a lot of races in the heat, I don't think it's an advantage or disadvantage for us. I mean, our bike is super, super conservative on the tires. Um, and um, I feel like some circuits will suit us and some won't suit us as much. So it doesn't really matter about the, the conditions, the track temperature, the ambient temperature, because I mean, all guys in Superbike are, are super strong and fit, so you know the athlete question should never come into it. But from a bike point of view, we need to we need to maximise our weaker circuits and then capitalise on our, our good ones. It's no surprise to see Scott being so fast. I mean, he um, he's been GP rider at really high level. In fact, he was Mark Marquez's you know a real true rival in Moto2. This uh, let's say adaptation to a Superbike was made quite easy by going to BSB last season and understanding the bike, the tires. And of course, with a good test program, you know, one of the top teams, manufacturers, uh, he has all the potential to do exactly what Alvaro did last year. He's doing a good job leading the championship already, but uh, he's the same as like Alvaro was doing last year. So I need to, to chase, to have that same mentality, to chase them down and um, try and turn the tables. I've had incredible rivals in the past. Guys like Chaz, Tom Sykes, you know, and Scott's just another one of three or four guys this year. So it's it's disrespectful to to always ask me about Scott because there's so many fast guys, Top Rack, Van der Mar, my teammate, uh, Chaz, so many guys to name. Um, just always people asking me about Scott, which is, I mean, it's cool. He's the guy right now that did a great weekend in, in Jerez. This weekend could be someone else.